crackberry.com. Hey everybody, Kevin here for crackberry.com with the Blackberry Playbook and now we're going to take a few minutes and walk through all the gestures, the user interface, basic navigation on the playbook. Uh, so it'll take a few minutes but you'll have a really good idea of what it's all about. Now let's start by turning on the device. So there is a little power button there but uh, and you can use it, right? It works fine. Turn on, turn off. But what you can also do is actually gesture. Swipe right across, power's on. Swipe top to bottom, power's on. So that's how we get onto the device. All good. Uh, let's take a look at the main screen here. You can see I've got a bunch of apps open. You can go between your apps. But let's look at the icons first. Similar to BlackBerry 6, you have your different uh, views at the bottom, all favorites, media, games. When the BlackBerry Bridge is enabled, if you also want a BlackBerry smartphone, you're going to get your Bridge app showing up as an option here. Uh, you can view more like that and jump between them. And if you want to move icons around, you can do that pretty easily. You can just hold from there. You can drag them. You can drag them to different views if you want to. You can see games or favorites lights up. Uh, but we'll just leave it there and we'll hit the check mark to be done. So that's kind of your basic apps. And to launch an app, you just tap it. Uh, we have a few open here. So we'll now go into an app like pictures. And if you want to leave that app, you can come like this. Or if you want to jump between apps, you can swipe left and right. Now one thing I'm going to note, take note of right away is you probably saw in a lot of playbook demos where apps were running in the background and Need for Speed here is open but it's not driving. And that's because there is a setting to basically choose what you want to do when apps are minimized. You can pause them, you can keep them playing until another one is open or you can have them all running at one time. Um, now to get to settings there's a couple things. One of the major gestures built into the playbook is the swipe down from the top which brings out more options. So when you're on the home screen that's actually how you get to your general settings or you can hit the gear uh, in the top right corner and if you go to general here's the application behavior I was just talking about. So it's on pause right now and that's why need for speed isn't playing but you can change it to showcase or to default which has everything running. So um, or I'm sorry I think default pauses when another one becomes active and uh, showcase has them all running. Okay, so now within an app, that same gesture holds true. So if we go to something like uh, music here, and we swipe down from the top, you can see more options come out. So you always got to be thinking about swiping down within applications. I mean, even something like the, let's see, you know, good old calculator app. Um, you know, here's your main calculator. You swipe down, here's your unit converter, and here's your scientific. You want to get rid of that app, you swipe it away, or you can tap the little X on it too. Both work just fine. Uh, so once you're in apps, you can also jump between applications simply by gesturing left and right. Pretty cool. Um, one thing to remember is the gesture area. So in something like photos, you know, it's actually interesting because your natural tendency might be to swipe from the edges, but you're going to swipe in the middle like this because if you do it from an edge, you're going to go into the next app. So you got to remember that. We could start playing a little Need for Speed here, see how the skills are. And when you get bored of that, you know, you can go like that and it's paused. Um, some basic other settings. So the top right corner here, you'll note uh, you have different things. So one is your orientation lock, which is cool. You got your Bluetooth, which is there, your Wi Fi, you got a battery level indicator. You have your gears for settings. From the top left corner, you actually have notifications. So what will happen is, let's say your battery is dying, and right now i got lots of life. You know, you might get a little uh, exclamation mark there. This will start to glow red, and you can, pull up, you can pull it out by doing a diagonal swipe down to, to basically expand that notification. And actually, the same thing is true now for options. So this main bar at the top, and I should show it also has the calendar there. You can set your alarm clock, it's tied in right there, it's nice. Uh, you can pull this out within any application. So if you're thinking to yourself, well, what if I'm in an app and I want to uh, lock the orientation of the screen? You know, that's stupid, i got to go to the home screen to lock it. That's not the case. Basically what you can do is, um, so if I swipe down, I'm going to get that option. But if I swipe at an angle, I'm going to get that main bar. So within any app, I can then change you know, my orientation lock and I'm locked. Um, so that is a very cool feature. 
and then bring it back down. So again, down for options, diagonal for menu bar, I believe it'll come down with the menu bar from that, unless the, from the left side, unless there's a notification showing, then you're going to pull out the notification. So that pretty much sums up your basic usage here of gestures. Um, one I haven't mentioned yet is the keyboard from the bottom left, and you can hide it at any time, and you can bring it up anywhere in any application. Um, look, and look, there's not actually one on the bottom right. You'd almost think there was, or should be. Pretty straightforward though, you know, it's not as intuitive as, has, as having no gestures, but it's really, a ma it really helps maximize the seven inch screen here. So for whoever said, you know, seven inch displays are dead, I don't even want to get into that, or DOA, you know, I, I, I tend to disagree because when you hide your options off the display, you really maximize what's on the screen. So you're effectively getting a lot more than, um, than if you make that stuff present all the time, right? So it's kind of a nice feature. It really expands the actual UI a lot uh, and adds a lot to it. So, pretty cool. Do a little slideshow there. No, I'm distracted now. This video is long enough. Uh, I hope that gives you a good example of what's going on. We can take a quick look at settings. We're gonna come back and dive through settings in detail, but just so you see things like the screen brightness, etc., you can change. Uh, and with that basic UI, if you do want to change your wallpaper, enough of this monkey business, you can do it right there. Cool. Swipe, tap, swipe, tap. And let's power off. And Kevin done this one. Whoa, did I say I was done? Totally not done. Forgot a couple of key things. Uh, first, I want to show you guys Portrait orientation, of course you can also use this like this, or, uh, well I guess you can use it like that, or you can, you know, use it like that. Um, but I guess it's kind of weird to use it, I think with the HD, you know, aspect ratio, it seems a little odd to use it in portrait, which is maybe why most people, including myself apparently, uh, forget to do that. But you can totally use it in portrait mode, all good. And one thing I want to show you is a neat other icon that uh, pops up in the top. And that's your music. So you do have your, your whoa, physical keys for uh, play, pause, and volume up and down. But they also put in some nice software ones here. So if you're, you know, let's say flipping through photos and you want to make a change to your music selection without, you know, moving your hands really, do that diagonal swipe and now you have a music player up there. And you can pause, you can play, and you can jump through different tracks. Really like, really like that feature. Nice and slick. I feel some TAT coming through on this one. Uh, I think that's good for now. What do you think? I hope that's done. Later. Bye. Power down. Music still plays. But pause. Okay. Now I'm done. Crackberry.com.